Let's get more touches on defense. In this video, we're breaking down how to read, how to play better defense. Let's get into it immediately. First off, I wanna give a quick shout out to Renak Saxena3300. They left a comment on one of my earlier videos saying, can you make something on how to read the ball? So here we are making a video on how to read in volleyball. One word really came to mind when talking about how to read playing volleyball. And that word is positioning. Positioning is everything because A, you can't read in volleyball if you don't know where you're supposed to be. And B, you can't read in volleyball if you don't know where you're supposed to go. This video, we're gonna learn where you're supposed to be, where you're supposed to go. We're trying to increase your volleyball skills one little percent at a time. Let's get right into it. Before we get into any film breakdown, let's talk about three of the major principles for reading in volleyball, playing defense in general, and positioning. First, let's talk about the court breakdown of where you're supposed to be on the court for each position. So here you can see a map of the court. Obviously, you have three front row players, three back row players. The thing to note about positioning on defense is you're never going to be in the same position twice, right? Everyone is going to be in a slightly different place given what's going on on the other side of the court. So you have to be really attentive to what's going on on the other side to know where you're supposed to move on this side. All right, let's start in the one here, which is the back right defender, typically the setter. And if it's not the setter, then it's gonna be the right side attacker. We want this player to be two to three feet behind the 10 foot line in base defense, which means after the ball is served, this is where you wanna be. Close enough to the 10 foot line where you can get tips over the block, but further enough back that you can make plays, good defensive plays and get good defensive touches. The same rule applies on the opposite side with the libero, a couple feet off the 10 foot line, maybe moving up a little closer because we want that libero having a lot of range going left to right, picking up digs, dumps, anything scramble plays in the center of the court here, we want that libero touching. The player that has the most area of volatility positioning wise is that six defender in the six, which is typically going to be the outside hitter, sometimes a libero in certain scenarios, but typically that's the outside hitter. They can go left, right, up, back, but in general, keeping it very simple, we want that six defender to be five to eight feet in front of the back line. Let's say right here on the court. In the front, obviously, we have our blockers, so not doing a whole lot of defense. This is very simple court breakdown. So themes, a little bit behind the 10 foot line. We want that six defender, five to eight feet from the back line, not on the back line. Second principle, moving forward is gonna be a big key in reading. You don't wanna be moving backwards because when we move backwards, it's twice as hard to get a ball in front of us. And I'm gonna show you a lot of film that's gonna show when we move forwards towards the ball, attacking the ball, as we say, breaking space, chunking the court out, all these words. Basically, it's the theme of moving forward. We want our bodies moving forward, we want our hands forward. The beginning two thirds of that court. And when you do that, you're gonna get a lot more touches, you're gonna get a lot more balls, and it's gonna be really beneficial for your defensive game. Third principle, we wanna be far enough up that these balls are right where we want to be. So I strongly encourage, if you're playing defense, you can't predict when a setter is gonna dump, but you can start closer to the court and the closer the ball on the other side gets to the net, you move even closer. These are the three principles before we break down anything else, but this is what we want. This is what we're looking for and this will win you games and get you more touches, I guarantee it. With that, let's go to film, break down some film. The first game I have is from a conference match we played at Marymount against Randolph-Macon. Part one, we're gonna talk about defense in the six, which I think is the most difficult position to defend and play defense. There's a lot of variability, there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of pieces on the other side of the court that you have to be aware of. With all that being said, let's get right into it. The first piece, like we talked about earlier, being forward. Forward, forward, forward. You can see Devin here, he's about five to eight feet from the back line. We like to use the semicircle as a sort of guide, which is at least how close you wanna be, if not further. 
He's right here and he's in perfect position to make this dig. Now he makes this last minute adjustment at the end because you can see this, this blocker, there's a little gap here. So he's filling that gap, makes a great dig. He's in the great positioning because he knows that if he's back here on this back line, he's not gonna get a touch on this ball. We don't want the ball to be five feet in front of us. We want it to be at our hands in our vicinity. So in the six, you wanna be right here in the sweet spot, and that's gonna give you the best opportunity to make a dig. You can see on this play, perfect dig by Devin to our setter, then to Will, puts the ball away, money. This is the same game here, same set, and Will. you can see Will's playing defense in the six here, and he's moving up really close. As the ball gets closer to the net on the other side of the court, we want our sixth defender moving up. We can't really defend this back third that much, right? If a ball goes there, we wanna be able to track it down, we wanna be able to get there, but we cannot have this ball drop in this front third for sure, and in the middle two third with absolute certainty. That's not a ball we want to drop. And this is an easy dig. It's his positioning, right? Starting it around the semicircle, moving up as the ball gets tighter. That ball's right in his platform, easy dig, okay? One more example here in the six. Overpass, Will starts central in his base defense in that semicircle. He sees the opposing attacker, his eyes looking a little bit right. So he has natural body movement, is sliding a little bit to the right, makes a good move on this ball, gives us a good dig. Beautiful kill by Diego. But the theme here for the six is to start in this middle semicircle, even say right here and move up from there. When you do that, you take away this chunk of the court and you're gonna get a lot of touches, a lot of digs. I promise you, as much as you think your block is gonna block everything in front of you. Most of the time, we're getting balls flying off hands, landing here, splitting the block, splitting those gaps. If you play defense back here, you're not gonna get any of those balls on overpasses on quick tempo sets. So you have to be further up. That's what we're looking for. Next video we're breaking down is something that Southern Virginia University did tremendously well against us. This topic is focusing on cross court digging where you have to be on the opposite side of the court. So our liberos, our setters and right sides and where you wanna play defense there and how to read a little bit of that. So it's the same principle. We're starting up and we're attacking the ball moving forward. We're not backpedaling. They did a great job of this. You can see in this video, this right side is collapse the court maybe eight feet in from the line here and that ball flies right into his platform on a good swing a really decent swing but he makes a play on it and they're able to get an attack on this ball but that doesn't happen if he's sitting on this line here that ball might come short of him it's going to be a lot more difficult of a dig to take two steps and scramble towards the ball up than it is to just have it land in your hands they do the same thing in this game a little bit later the same dig their their blocker christian schaefer is channeling this ball right to this window and they have two defenders right here making a great play on the ball all right we want that ball coming right at us in our range if you're five feet back that's a much more difficult dig. Reading here is about positioning and positioning is about pressing up when you're cross court, moving forward, taking up space. That is the key, that is the takeaway I want you to learn here. You're gonna get touches like this. All right, these same principles apply at the next level. On quick tempo balls, defenders in the five, six, and one, which are those back three positions, are up, they're forward, and they're trying to scoop the ball and make a play on it. You can see here in this play, Hawaii versus UCLA, Tele gets a quick ball, a three ball to the middle. He turns this ball inside the two blockers, but David is right there in position, a little bit deeper because at the division one level, these guys hit a little bit harder, so you, they want to be a little bit further back but he's in great position, he's forward, and even that sixth defender is forward too. There's no reason to be back there when this ball's in quick tempo set. So they're all forward, their hands are out, and he gets a great touch on this ball. It was a net touch, but that's besides the point. It's a positive touch, which is what you're looking for. Last clip is just an example of why we do what we do, and this is a video of a tip, which is becoming the evolution of the game. Crafty tips, crafty plays, going right around the block and falling. And Will, our libero here, is in great position. He's right at the 10 foot line. He's able to make a move instantaneously and get this ball. And we end up playing out this rally and losing it, but it's the touch that counts. And you'll see if he moves and kind of does the traditional defense of shuffling back a little bit, he's not gonna make this ball. You can't go back to go forward. We have to stay 
forward, attacking, moving our feet in the right direction, staying close to that 10 foot line if you are in that position. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you took one little piece of information from this video. Remember some of our key principles, attack the ball, moving forward, taking away that two third, that upper two thirds chunk of the court is gonna get you way more touches. If you start there and you're positioning, you're gonna be able to make subtle adjustments left and right much easier. You're gonna be in the line of the ball more frequently and you're gonna get more digs, which is always the goal. And yeah, thanks for the question in the comments. I'm loving making these videos. If you have a, if you have a video that you want me to do, hit those comments below. I'll see what I can make happen. If not, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.